Hank Anchorman here, where excitement is blooming at the Pork Belly Planetarium. People are lining up to see Petaluma, the 60-foot, one-of-a-kind wonder panty. Oh, I have to get the kids to the Pansy Festival this year and see that one-of-a-kind flower. So tired. I need cereal for morning. Wakey, wakey. A bug. Huh? Hold it. What are you doing? I'm going to email this photo and a note to the cereal company telling them we found a bug in their product and we'll never buy it again. Tell them they should add more marshmallow spaceships and better prizes and fudge swirls and better prizes. Now be free. Fly home, my winged friend. Ah, here you go. Lunch. I think I got it. Look, I reworked the formula, which should help control the growth reaction. They forgot the seven. Duh, how could we miss that? Well, if it wasn't for the stabilization chamber, there's no telling what might happen. <laughs> you wouldn't blast the dog in the back, would ya? I guess you would. Hey, how many times have we said no paintballing in here? <laughs> Since you never listen, I had no choice but to zap you with the freeze frame array. Do you want to stay this way or leave the lab? Give me one grunt for staying frozen and two for leaving. <laughs> Sorry, but you froze me in the shot. Uh, what's with all the little trees and that crazy looking floor lamp? It's a growth accelerator. We started testing it on small living things like earthworms and beetles and such, but left the rate of growth too unstable. We're working on a solution, because if we can accelerate the growth of plants and trees, we can help replace the world's vanishing forests. Johnny! Oops. Again? I blame you. Don't ever refer the test, family. Wow! A whole case of cereal? That's the way things work. The company sent that to apologize for you finding a bug in their product. It ensures they don't lose you as a valued customer. So do all companies do that? Yes, they do. Hmm. That's one creepy crawly ticket to free ice cream. Yeah. All right, say free ice cream. Now we just email the photo to the company telling them we will never, ever eat their ice cream again. Ice cream delivery for Johnny Tess. Oh, how good is free ice cream? Uh-oh, crazy looking boy's eye. What are you thinking? That bugs rock. And that bugs could also get us other free stuff, like BMX bikes, cases of red gush, hang gliders, caramel corn, and all the stuff on this list I made. And let's not leave out bacon, steak, bacon, pork, and bacon! Bacon! Let's get busy! And first up, new inline skates! Awesome! <laughs> mm, even better with free steak! <laughs> More packages for Johnny Tess! Johnny, where did all this stuff come from? From Omaha. Pigs. Mostly China. We mean, why are they here? They all wanted to keep me as a valued customer. Really? Rutabaga of the month was gonna miss your business? Boy, truth, now. I sent photos to companies telling them I found bugs in their product. What? I can't believe you did that! Well, you're the one that showed me. What? Only when he found a bug in his cereal. I did not tell him to loot companies like some pirate. Well, it's dishonest. Honest, and it's all going back, mister! Uh, can I at least keep the inline skates? And the, uh, the hot tub in the backyard? No, this is all going... <gasps> hot tub? With 32 soothing jet settings and tropical surround sound. Guaranteed to put a gorilla to sleep. Johnny, taking advantage of companies like this is wrong. And to prove it, your father and I are going to spend the next several hours in that hot tub. But we're not going to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> and no more free bug stuff! <laughs> Well, I guess that's that. Not until I get the thing on the list I wanted the most. The Extremo Quad Wheel Dirt Scrambler! We used up all the bugs from the yard and the house. <laughs> Where? Where? Uh, turn them up! Hello, little buggy. You're gonna help me get... Ah! Oh, 
that can't be good. And that's worse. Well, that explains why I was locked in the jar. Why did you have to open the jar? We should probably run now. You think? <laughs> well, at least it prefers eating your sister's experiment and not us. Yeah, we got it trapped. Maybe Susan and Mary won't even notice it's loose. Kill the wash cars all day long. I guess you guys noticed, and I don't have a good excuse yet. Then try telling the truth. Okay, I was just gonna use your ladybug to get one last free thing. You know, Johnny, there's a phrase people use. Are you nuts? Really? Yeah, it doesn't ring a bell. That ladybug was one of the things the growth accelerator made unstable. That's the reason it was in a special stabilizing chamber. Okay, so I let the big bug out. Please tell me it'll fly off and be with its own kind. Well, there's one way to find out. Hank Anchorman here. It's pandemonium at the Pork Billy Botanical Gardens as a giant, ferocious ladybug wreaks havoc at the Pansy Festival. Darn it! The big fear is that it'll make its way inside the planetarium and possibly eat the one-of-a-kind Petaluma, the 60-foot wonder pansy. It's the only one like it in the world. The more that bug eats, the bigger it grows, and if it eats a giant pansy, who knows how big it'll get? We've got to stop it. And by we, she means you two. What? Wait, why me? Did you do anything to stop, Johnny? No. But in my defense, I'm a dog, and I was blinded by the thought of more free steaks and bacon. Guilty by association. Okay, we'll arm you with eco-friendly ways to try and stop the bug. Freeze frame, stop motion ray, and the molasses blaster. Or you could do it, and doggies stay here. Nice try. We'll try and find a way to engineer a reverse mode on the growth accelerator. Hey, lady! Over here! You know, she has a remarkably deep voice for a lady. Stand back, Johnny! Well, we put that bug to bed permanently. Aw, but then I can't use this thing like this. Darn it! Nice shot, Tex. Bet you couldn't do that again. Sorry. Stop that bug before it eats the Wonder Pansy. Let's try the molasses blaster thingy the girls gave us. Fire! Uh -oh. <laughs> At least this plan tastes better than it worked. I'm calling for backup. Aaron Landstrike is a go. One tough lady. Time for plan E, or F. What plan are we on? <laughs> okay, let's just call it plan E. Anyone got one, anything? <laughs> it's going back to finish off the pansy. We have to get that bug. But how? How do we stop or catch a big bug? I got an idea. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. You guys keep the bug distracted. Hey, bug! Your mama eats sweets! And your daddy was a stink beetle! Oh, you don't like those? Then talk to the butt, girlfriend. <laughs> That's a good one. Quickly, quickly, a little help. <laughs> I was just kidding about the butt thing, and, and I got nothing. Anchorman here. The giant bug has been stopped the old-fashioned way in a jar by a giant boy. Wait, that's not the old-fashioned way. But who cares? The giant 60-foot pansy and nature are saved! How much longer? One minute shorter than when you asked me a minute ago. This so isn't fair. I'm too big to enjoy any of the free stuff that I got from putting bugs in them. Well, we're going to enjoy them for you. At least all weekend till they go back on Monday. Don't worry, Johnny. The effect should wear off in a couple of days and you'll be back to normal. But making you bigger than the bug was the only way to defeat it. Uh, I can't even try the one thing I wanted the most. <laughs> Get 
Can I tell you how amazing this thing is? <laughs> hey, be careful with that thing! It's going back! Well, I'll enjoy it while it lasts. One finger at a time. 